Hey guys, today I want to do a quick little video on the baby talker pillow talker from Still Moments Nursery. So I got one of these and did a box opening a little while ago. It was for the doll show that's coming up. If you don't know about the doll show that's coming up, we're having one in New South Wales in May. And if you want more information about that, then definitely let me know so that you can come along. Um, I sh but Still Moments Nursery sent me one of these so that it could be given away at the raffle on the day. And a few people commented and wanted to know some more information about it. So I ordered one so that I could show you guys how it works and learn for myself, of course. <laughs> So this is how it comes in this little box. It's very cute. With the storage and to make sure it's safe when it gets posted as well. So this is the device, baby talker. So basically it is a speaker and it, it stays outside of the baby. So it just goes like under a pillow or, you know, out of the way it's not really designed to be put in the baby um, where does it plug in on the bottom is a little USB port so here is the battery pack it comes with the small battery pack we're gonna plug it in I see a light in there oh it said something okay I'll get the remote out. Make sure you take the clear tab out of the remote so it works. Here is the instructions. Pause if you want to read them all. Here is some more instructions. Again, pause if you want to read it. And how to charge the battery pack. So this is the charger. Let's pause that for a minute. One second. Let's turn that off. Okay. So to charge it, you plug this into any USB port or something like a plug that you put your phone charger, like where your phone cable goes into. This is where you'd plug that into, into the little block that goes into the wall. Or you could plug it into a computer or anywhere with a USB port that charges. And then you plug this end into here. So you unplug it from the pillow talker and plug it into here. Whoops, make sure it's the right way. And when it's got power, it will illuminate red. I will show you that later. When it is fully charged, it will stop illuminating red and you'll know that it's charged. So to charge it, I'm literally just using this USB port in our amp. Oh, I think it goes this way. Plug it in and I have to have the amp on, so I've turned it on. And now the um, power illuminates, so I'll just show you again. There you go. And that is charging now. I think the battery is about 30 hours. Put it back together, we wanna to plug this back in. And it always turns on as soon as you plug it in and you have battery that is charged enough in here. So let's get our remote. So first one is power. This one's pause. Good, I'm going to use that. Play and pause is the little blue one. We don't really want to change how the sound sounds. Um, next mode, you can press across. Volume up and down. Mood. 
repeater slash auto repeat so if you press RPT that is so you can just have one sound continuously going over and over and over and then we have the options of all the baby moods that are over here this is crying screaming four This is feeding and hiccups. These are all filmed from one baby. So the sounds from the new baby talker, pillow talker, and then the new baby talker that is put into the baby are from a little baby named Everett. So they're all from the same baby. I'm guessing it would be roughly around the same age, which is really cool. We will do five now. So I'm going to press play. And this is the feeding one, but let's press five. <coughs> Playing blowing bubbles. When I have a spare moment, that was exactly what I was going to do. I was going to get a baby that I have near me, which I haven't really had one that close to me to be able to do it, and then record all of their sounds. So maybe in the future. <laughs> Okay, let's go with six. So press it. Pushing, pooping. Cooing, grizzling, tired. But not least, nine. Sleeping and snoring. Let's do the volume up. So when you hear that noise, that means it's at the max volume. say that's pretty loud. It does now have the two speakers. Let's go to the other side of the room and see if we can hear the sound. I can still hear the sound. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. It doesn't look like it is on the little mic bar on the screen, but I can still hear it. And it is one of the quietest sounds that, are, that we're playing right now. 
So let's choose a louder sound and then let's go across the room and see if we can hear it. Um, how about crying, screaming, three. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's pretty loud. That's loud. Let's go into the back room. Is this baby crying? I can still hear it clearly. And I'm in the back sunroom. Not that my house is giant, but it's it's in another room. And I can hear it clearly crying. I put it on my desk. And I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna close the door. You can still hear it. Oh my gosh, that poor baby. You can definitely still hear it. But that is just sitting on the bench with nothing over it. So if you're in the same room or one room apart and you have something on top of the item such as a pillow or a lovey or a blanket I think you'll definitely hear it it sucks because I came to you no it's okay oh man the baby really started getting upset I don't know if I could film a baby like I totally get it you're not hurting the baby you're just letting the baby cry but I don't know if I could like stand there and film I think I would really struggle but I'd be like, oh, I really want this good audio, but I really don't want the baby crying. <laughs> Ooh, this is why you need a Nuna, because if you guys had a Nuna, you can just put it in this little pouch that they've got. Baby talker pouch. <laughs> I forgot the remote. One second. Six. Does it work through fabric? Nope. Oh, it did work. I think. It did work. Even in this little pouch, it's still pretty loud. It's at max volume. It's definitely louder when it's out there. Let's see, let's cross his water bowl. That's still very loud, and it's just under a piece of blanket in the bassinet. I feel like this is definitely a really good option to not have to have it in a baby. Um, if you want it to be louder, then yeah, definitely just pop it under a blanket if you want it out of sight. <laughs> I really think that this is that they, they have listened to what we've asked for with this product it is louder than it was it has the two speakers in it now whereas it used to just have the one and it is definitely louder and you don't have to install it into a baby just putting it under a, a blanket is perfectly fine and it still is very loud even under a blanket oh my god 
This baby is so beautiful. I'm definitely going to give this product a thumbs up. I really think that they've listened to what we've asked for and I appreciate their efforts. And if you don't feel comfortable installing it into a baby, you don't need to. And the last thing that's super cool about the Baby Pillow Talker is you can Bluetooth it to your device and use the Baby Sit Me app through the Bluetooth. So what we do is we press mode with the controller. So mode is up here in the middle. Press that. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. I'm going to go to my phone and change my Bluetooth settings. See what comes up. This one. Connected. connected. It actually just said connected from the device. Now I'm going to go back to the app. Now I want to start the app on routine mode and on newborn. 30 seconds until we get a confirmation that it's started and then five minutes until we get a notification. I'll make sure that the volume is up. Oops, see it's turning the volume up on my phone. Close. Okay, now five minutes and we will get a notification for our baby, but it will come out of this the baby talker speaker as well. Make sure that your banners are set to persistent. With Android, you want to make sure that your battery is optimized so that your phone allows any notifications from the Baby Sit Me app to come through. Otherwise, you might miss notifications because the phone is trying to save battery. See, the sound comes from the baby instead of your device. But it still tells you. Oh, I'm so sorry about this glary light. That's better. No, it's not better. It still tells you what Bubby needs. And then you can give the care that Bubby needs. But it comes from the speaker under Bubby's blanket, which makes it look like it comes from Bubby. Isn't that so much more exciting? So you have the extra care sounds that you can play at any time. And then you have the Bluetooth option. Now, one thing I do need to check is if you can swap it back to the, I don't think that that will work because it's in a mode. So if I was to change modes, the sound is not going to come up from here. So it's back in the normal mode, so it's making sleeping sounds. But the next time that the baby needs care events, you'll have to swap it back to Bluetooth mode as soon as you work out when baby needs a care event to hear the crying. But I still feel like it's a pretty easy thing just to press the button and it will swap back over to Bluetooth mode. So there's my little review on the baby pillow talker. I will do a little review on the baby talker and I also got a baby talker and breather in one which is super exciting. Just pause this. Yep. Yeah so I got uh, some more boxes. I got a standard box that I have gotten a few times before and then I got this pillow talker which is new to me and the breather and baby talker in one which is also new to me I've never had these two before but the v2 baby talker I will do the sounds but it's basically the same as this one as well I hope that this video was helpful if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my other videos where are you going Klaus where are you go that's my baby that's my baby. You want to go outside?